Objectives Number one, to discuss the meaning of interval notation. Number two, to apply interval notation in computation. Interval notation. A notation for representing an interval as a pair of numbers. The numbers are the endpoints of the interval. Parentheses and or brackets are used to show whether the endpoints are excluded or included. For instance, bracket 4 and 8 parentheses is the interval of real numbers between 4 and 8 including 4 and excluding 8. Hi guys! Welcome again sa YouTube channel ko. Today's video, tuturuan ko kayo ng interval notation. Saan ba ginagamit ng interval notation? Karamihan, pag nakakuha tayo ng mga value ng mga x, less than 3, x greater than 5, at ginagamitan siya natin ng number ng x. So, paano natin siya gagawing interval notation? So, na, sa given ko, meron akong x less than 4. So, ga, paano natin siya gagawing interval notation? So, it means to say, x less than 4, shade na natin siya from this one, pero hindi kasama yung 4. So, kailangan lalagyan natin siya ng bilog. So, pag bilog, ano magiging interval notation niyan? Sa pag parenthesis, take note na siya kasama. Ayan. So, ito yung symbol na gagamitin natin. So, automatic, ang negative infinity ay lagi yung parenthesis at saka parenthesis sa negative infinity and positive infinity. So, pag mag-interval notation tayo. So, paano natin siya gagawing interval notation? Kasi, nag-less than siya so, magiging ano natin, negative infinity, and then, 4. So, not included. So, yun ang magiging natin. Ayan. And then, ito naman, x greater than equal to 5. Okay. Nasama na yung 5. So, talagyan natin, mas mataas daw. So, ito yung number line says, hanggang positive infinity tapos lalagyan natin siya ng bilog hindi bilog parang dot parang pa ganyan eh ito kasi not included pag sa number line na pag number line pag bilog included ang difference niya na so ito so, so paano naman natin siya gagawin interval notation so palibasa kasama na siya pagka not included parenthesis pero pagka included bracket wala nyo ah bracket so ito nasama yung 5 ang gagawin natin bracket positive 5 hanggang positive infinity. Pero, hindi kasama yung infinity. Ganyan naman yun. Sure. Ganyan na, na. I-get nyo na. Ito naman. Negative x less than negative 3. So, paano natin siya gagawing interval notation? So, less than na. Lalagyan natin ng kulay. Ayan. Tapos, hindi rin kasama ang negative 3. So, take note, lalagyan natin siya ng bilog. Paano naman siya gagawing interval notation? Eh, and then negative. So, negative infinity and then negative infinity. Parenthesis and then parenthesis. So, yan ang magiging answer for the next video. Okay. So, meron pa akong susunod sa video ha. Magbibigay pa ako ng maraming example para masanay tayo sa mga 
Hi guys! Welcome again sa YouTube channel ko. So, pagpapatuloy natin yung interval notation. So, kailangan masanay tayo sa parang bilog at saka dot. Saka yung bracket and parenthesis. So, x less than or equal to 4. So, less than. So, ulitin ko. Palibasa naging 4 siya. Ayan. So, paano magiging ano? Then, ayan. So, ayan natin na that and then so ulitin ko Nag negative infinity siya yes that and then or that ito naman x greater than equal to negative 5 greater so pataas yan oh. so, so. tapos at the same time Paano natin siya gagawin? Kasi kasama daw yung 5. Bracket, negative 5. So, infinity. Ayan. Ayan na. Kasamay na tayo. And then, x less than negative 4. So, negative 4 not included. Ayan. Tapos, below. Okay. Nakita nyo yung difference, ha? Negative infinity. And then, parenthesis din. Parenthesis, okay, mali ito. So, yan ang interval notation. So, magbibigay pa ako ng mga compound inequality. So, susunod kong video. Okay, guys. Pagpatuloy na natin yung interval notation natin. So, ito naman yung next example natin. Ito yung tinatawag na compound inequalities. So, we have 3 less than x, less than 4. And then, uh, paano natin gagawin siyang interval notation? So, alam naman natin na again, this is negative infinity and positive infinity. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, meron tayong 3 and 4. So, paano natin siya gagawin interval notation? So, less than pa rin. O, ito, lalagyan natin ng line. Ito. Tapos, less than pa rin na ito. So, pero less than yung 4. Nalagyan natin yung 4. So, paano natin siya gagawin? Yan na, yan na natin. Paano natin siya gagawin interval notation? Again, 3, and then 4. Yan. Open 3, open parenthesis for 3, and then 4, parenthesis. Ito naman, less than 4, Negative 4 less than equal less than equal to negative 4 and then x less than 5. So how do we uh, word the notation for this one? So equal uh, less than or equal to negative 4. So ito siya. So banda rito. Yan ha. So. Tapos palibasa less than ganyan. Talagyan natin na Tapos, ito rin less than 5. 5. So, ito yan. Ha? Pero, ito naman, hindi naman siya less than lang siya. So, so, paano natin siya gagawin interval notation? So, ito, negative 4. Gagawin natin, gagawin natin siyang bracket. Negative 4 and then 5 not included then parenthesis. Yan ang magiging answer natin for the interval notation. And then negative less than negative 3 less than x less than or equal to 6. So, ito yung negative 3 natin. Ito yung negative 6. So, paano natin siya gagawin? So, we have neg negative 6 equal. So, banda rito siya. And then, negative 3 din. Ayan. So, ayan ha. So, we have negative 3. Open. And then, the other one will be that. Siya doon na natin mula. Ulitan na natin. Ayan. Pero hindi siya ano ha. Uh, that lang siya. Baga bilog lang. Ayan. Tapos ito. Ayan. Okay. So, 
paano naman natin siya gagawing open interval? Tignan nyo ha. Ilog. Let that. So, parenthesis, negative 3, and then, I bracket po. So, bracket po. Baliktad naman. Bracket. Kasi, less than 6 eh. Kaya, dapat. So, yan ang magiging, ito yung tinatawag na compound inequality. Kaya, pag meron kayo nakikita ganyan, yan ay itsura, at yan ang magiging interval notation sa answer. Okay, magbibigay pa ako ng iba't ibang example for interval notation. Siguro ito na yung last sa uh, video ko. So guys, ito yung susunod nating video na x less than 4 or x greater than 5. So paano natin siya gagawin uh, interval notation? So take note guys ha. Take note pag below. Okay. Paano natin siya ang um, pinigigay ng interval notation? Negative infinity. 4. Is a union of 5. And then, positive infinity. So, yan ang magiging answer dyan. Ito naman, x less than or equal to negative 2. So, ito, Pero equal siya. So, nalagyan ko lang yung dot. And then, ito naman. X greater than the x. So, ito open interval. So, paano siya magiging naman, pareho silang less than equal. Ito naman less than equal. So, gawin natin ganyan. Tap, tap, then, or tap. Not sya. Tap, or close. And then, this one. Tap, then, or close. I hope na itindihan niyo yung ating video ngayon. Marami kayong natutunan at i-apply niyo sa mga problem solving na merong ganyan klase. Lalo na kung hindi number line set. So, kasama yan sa mga gen math ng mga inequality. So, ito ay compound inequality na inapplyan ng interval notation. So guys, thank you.